What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and today in this video I want to talk about the most important aspect of conditioning for grapplers. Okay, so for gra when I say grapplers, I mean uh, guys who practice judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Sambo or wrestling. Okay, so before I get started, uh, take a second to give this video a thumbs up and to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So let's get into it. So for those of you guys who don't know, I'm currently completing my personal certificate, uh, sorry, personal training certificate, okay, and uh, I should be done soon. All I have left is um, a little bit of internship to do, and then after that, um, some, um, or oh, the final exam, which is really, to me, it's just a formality. It's, it's pretty straightforward, you know, and I, uh, I don't, it's not like if I need to practice, I've been, I've been working out my whole life, and most of this stuff I already know, uh, but that being said, I did uh, learn a lot still. Um, I, I learned all my human anatomy, biomechanics, physiology, um, and, you know, and I also learned how to, what to do, what not to do, a periodization, you know, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of this, so this course is a basic course, but I went above and beyond because I'm really interested in uh, performance in, in my sport, right? So I was looking at, um, what what's the most important thing you need to develop in terms of conditioning for 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 judo okay so i check with my coach we check with what um what currently like the guys who um uh you know judo's been around for a long time so they have a structure all in place and stuff like that and they have a methodology and a way to train and stuff like that there's a lot of science and uh that's backing up uh, the way they train and stuff right so turns out judo okay, is very reliant on, okay, let me start by saying that um, when you look at conditioning, you have to look at three things, right? You have to look at uh, speed, you have to look at endurance, and you have to look at strength, okay? So if you could imagine yourself a triangle, okay, like this triangle, so at the base here, that would be speed, and then on one side, it would be endurance, and the other side would be, um, uh, how do you say it, strength, okay? So speed, strength endurance okay so now which ones and depending on your sport you're gonna have to emphasize more uh one of one of the three you know usually it's a combination of two of these that are more predominant and then the other one kind of is like in the background okay so in judo what what is it like what do you need okay what you sh what should you be focusing on well it turns out in judo predominantly because of the way the sport is um is okay you need to focus more on speed and power okay so when I say power well power is a combination of speed and strength okay so speed and uh, strength more towards the power side okay so and sambo is the same thing and now wrestling though wrestling is is, is really funny because wrestling it's actually more about speed and endurance okay so I'll explain why I think that is like I haven't discovered uh, everything yet but as I go about it and as I learn more I'll, I'll update you guys on what I'm learning uh, so that you can apply it to your own um, to yourself uh, so that you could uh, perform better in your sport now in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu get this it's not it's not what most people would think so what's the thing that that uh, that dominates in, in, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's actually strength. Yeah. So think about that for a second. So everything else is not as important. It's more strength that's important, you know, uh, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Of course, like, like technique aside and all of that shit, you know, it's strength, okay? Being strong and of course being explosive because usually when you're strong, you're explosive. Now, I just want to say one thing. Um, Okay, S strength can be developed. Speed, it's kind of a genetic thing, uh, you know, because it's God-given, right? So, like, depending uh, on your genetics and um, what kind of type of muscle fibers you have, okay, if you have, if you're born with, like, type 1 muscle fibers, then you're more like an endurance person. So, you don't, you don't explode as, as, as fast, you know? you know? And But if you have more, that's more slow twitch. So, type 2 then you're more fast twitch. There's actually two types of type twos, but for, for simplicity's sake, let's just call it uh, slow twitch, fast twitch. 
So if you're born with more um, fast twitch, then you'll be faster, okay? If more with slow twitch, then, you know, you'll, you'll be better for endurance, but a little bit slower. So now that being said, like power comes from being fast and strong at the same time, okay? So now that we got that out of the way, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it's, um, it's actually strength, okay? So you don't have to be super fast, you gotta be somewhat fast, you know, but being strong matters a lot in Jiu-Jitsu. And like, if you guys notice, right, uh, strength and, 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 you know, of course you gotta be somewhat expo like fast too, you know, you can't be too, too goddamn slow, but strength plays a big role in it. Okay, so now, in wrestling, why is it that in wrestling, it's, you know, it, it seems, it's a grappling, so, uh, but it's different, it's not the same uh, two components of fitness that, that you need, okay, For the, in judo. Well, the thing is, when you think about it, in wrestling, okay, you're not, uh, you, don't, you don't grab that much. Like, okay, you'll, you use hook grips, right, like this, and then you'll grab the wrist, but a lot of it, a lot of times, like that shit, you know, people break your, your grips and stuff like that, and you know, you're, you're moving, you need much more speed and endurance, okay? But now, check this out. So that's why in wrestling, it's actually speed endurance that you have to focus on developing when you're at the gym conditioning. Now, when it comes to judo though, okay, here's the thing, you're grabbing a lot. So when you're grabbing a lot, okay, you guys have to remember that the limiting factor in strength is your hands. And the doorway to strength is through your hands. It's how hard you're able to grip, okay? So the fact that we're always fucking gripping like madmen in, uh, in judo and, and sambo, okay? It's very reliant on your grip. That's why you need to be strong and then you need to be fast so that you could, you know? So it's, it's, being ex it's, it's speed and strength. And, you know, as, as a result of that, being explosive too, okay, for, for, for Sambo and for Judo. Now, in fucking, um, in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, okay, it's more strength. Not necessarily um, power, but of course there's elements to power when you move and stuff like that, right? But remember this, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you're, you're on the ground, so you don't need to be, sorry, if, if you guys hear that, that's my dog whining because he wants to go out. So my wife will take care of that. But anyways, uh, so in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, here's the thing. You're on the ground, so you don't need that much speed, okay? And uh, you don't need to be that explosive. You're on the ground, you know? So, But the fact that you ha there's a lot of grip work in it, okay? Then all of a sudden, like, strength matters more. You could, re you could move around and stuff like that, but ha being super strong is what's the most important. So for all you guys who are doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, strength is what you should be focusing on, getting really fucking strong, okay? Now, if you're doing judo or sambo, then you should be focusing on more um, power and speed development, okay? And if you're doing uh, wrestling, you should be more focused on um, speed and endurance, you know, because you want to be, ah, and if you guys ever done any wrestling, it's fucking, uh, it's fucking tiring, man. Like, you're just, it's nonstop, go, 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 and you can't take a second and chill out. Uh, as in, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, where like, you can kind of um, you know, hold on to the guy, block the position, and then you know, take a little breath and just lay on him a little bit and stuff like that. No, like in, in, um, in the, the pace is very different in wrestling. And you know, you're slipping and sliding all over the goddamn place, you know? So, and oh yeah, so that being said, if you're, if you're practicing uh, no gi grappling, okay, Br basic, essentially Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but without the gi, um, then it's the same thing as wrestling, somewhat. It's speed and endurance. Because once again, you don't have the grips. If you need the grips, you have to be strong. And if you're standing up and using the grips, you have to be strong and explosive. So you need power, power and speed, okay? But if you're doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you don't move as fast because you're, you're on the ground. Not to say that guys can't move fast, like, the guy, like uh, for example, Buchecha, he's fucking, like he's a beast, the guy just, explodes all over the place and, and he's, um, you know, he's making it happen. He's very explosive, right? But the main thing that you should be concentrating on is strength, okay? And strength, when you're strong, if you're already an explosive guy, it will just make you more explosive. So 
that's it for this video. Uh, it went on a bit longer than I thought, but I, I hope that made sense, guys. If you have any questions, put them down below. I'll try to answer them uh, in the comments. And if I see that it takes uh, too much writing, I'll just fucking make a video and uh, answer that question for you guys. So once again, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share uh, this video so it helps me to grow. And um, that's it, man. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.